I'm here with Steve Heiner at Nikon, and we are now looking at the brand new Z7. Now this one was just released, and we've been selling plenty of them. It's a great camera. I got a chance to get my hands on one myself. Now the Z6 will be coming soon, but let's talk about what we've got here. We've got a Z7 with a 50 millimeter 1.8 mounted on it. This is our brand new 50 millimeter uh, Z lens. It's called an S Nikkor, uh, designed specifically for this uh, new mount, which is so huge. This is what all the buzz is about, of course. Very large 55 millimeter mount opening with a 16 millimeter flange back, which allows us to make a really slender, very small, very comfortable camera. Uh, and this 51.8 is quite remarkable. It isn't the fastest lens in the world at 1.8, but the sharpness of this lens is unparalleled in any 50 I've ever seen from Nikon. It's yeah, the, the sharpness and the co and the uh, compactness are really impressive with the new S lenses. If you if you don't mind just taking that off real quick and showing the back of it to the camera, this is sort of what we're talking about with the, the flange distance. The back glass is so close to the uh, back part of the flange here, the back part of the mount, is that it's really, really close to the sensor. Yes. And um, I imagine that gives you a lot more flexibility with um, how you can design the lenses and also it sort of prevents uh, things like vignetting and distortion around the edges. Yeah, absolutely, and in fact that is the whole goal of this camera is to maximize our optical design potential. Uh, I mean we're, we're expecting next year a lens uh, which is a 58 millimeter 0.95 aperture knock Nikkor. That's the kind of lens that we can make for this camera. Not to mention radical wide angle lenses and of course with our FTZ converter you can use all of your F mount lenses on this camera as well. So there's over 360 different type of Nikkor lenses that can be mounted on this camera by way of that adapter. So it's all right. quite remarkable. So your DSLR users have all of those lenses at their disposal. Now what is it about the Z7 or the Z6 for that matter that's going to have those people decide to switch over to mirrorless. I mean, obviously the, the native lenses will be coming, right. but they're not out yet. What is it that is going to have people switch over now? Why should they switch from DSLR over to mirrorless? Well, of course, one of the beauties of a mirrorless camera is it's a much more compact system. So immediately you start saving weight uh, and size, uh, but the capabilities are still there. I mean, we're talking about a, a, a 45 megapixel sensor here, equivalent in resolution to the D850 camera in a much smaller package. Uh, a lot of the great features that you that you come to expect in the D850 are available in this camera as well. Uh, so that's one of the things is to make this lighter uh, and, and easier to carry. And of course, that was the primary sort of design criteria in, in building this camera coupled with, of course, the optical capabilities that we can em employ in new lenses for this camera as well. Now, one of the criticisms I've heard is, well, it only takes XQD. Right. Now, that is, of course, because the XQDs are faster, so you're able to have faster uh, frame rates, and also they're tougher. You're going to be able to have more, it's a more professional style card. Now, what can we look for in the future as far as XQD prices coming down or availability getting better? Because right now, I think only Sony is uh, making well, XQDs at I the think, moment. I think once we start to actually sell more cameras into the market, the demand will increase, and of course, you'll see prices come down. The XQD is a very reliable memory card system. We've used it in a lot of our pro cameras uh, and we're one of the few who do. Uh, so we're, we're hopeful that by selling a whole lot of Z cameras and a whole lot more DSLRs that will increase the number of XQDs that become available. Okay, so high-end users are going to be getting themselves familiar with the Z7. Yeah. Now, what about the Z6? That's coming soon, yeah. and I imagine that's going to be much more aimed at uh, you know enthusiasts and uh, consumer level. Yeah. So, what can we expect out of the Z6? Number one, how is it going to differ from the Z7? And number two, how much is it going to cost? When is it going to be available? And are we going to have enough of them for the holiday season? Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, the Z6 is a, a more superior video camera. Because of the lower resolution, we can do 4K in both full frame and in DX crop uh, without uh, any kind of uh, uh, processing in order to uh, distill that file down. So it's a pixel for pixel readout uh, on the Z6. So it's a better video camera, first of all. Uh, second of all, of course, it's a little better in low light because of the uh, size of the pixels, has a higher ISO range, and only costs $19.99.95. So that's the best part. It will go a few frames faster, up to 12 frames per second, okay. uh, but otherwise it uh, is every bit as much a, a Z7. Every other feature is exactly the same. All right, well, we're looking forward to both of those cameras, the Z7 here and the Z6 coming soon to Cometa.com.